So Jack, how should healthcare providers define value in today's age of personalization? The healthcare value equation really came about uh, as a result of work from Dr. Uh, Michael Porter, who's a Harvard business professor. In a book, uh, in his 2006 book, Redefining Healthcare, Creating Value-Based Competition on Results, Dr. Porter pointed out that uh, healthcare systems seem to be more focused on increasing reimbursement uh, than achieving improved value for customer. And unfortunately, what that led to was a standardization, if you will, of the value equation. So what's missing is what I call the relevance factor. Uh, and that is, are the outcomes that we're seeking relevant to the individual at their particular point in life? Healthcare is in the middle of a transformation right now. But I think that with that uh, transformation and the disruption that we're seeing uh, with this current pandemic, which I think is actually accelerating innovation, and I think that some of the disruption and innovation that we're seeing in healthcare today is moving us more toward uh, a more personalized, relevant value equation. One of the biggest challenges that we have in healthcare is the way that we're reimbursed. We're actually reimbursed for sick care and procedures rather than health and wellness, which is what most individuals want. Unfortunately, we don't have good systems for asking individuals right now. Instead of simply asking the question to the patients, the individuals receiving care, what matters to you? What matters to you? What's important to you? So we end up delivering a lot of care based on our models of quality and value instead of focusing on what's important to patients.